Welcome back to Junie B. Jones' One Man Band. Today I'm reading Chapter 2, More Piggy Problems. I stayed in my daydream a real long time. Also, I think I snored a little bit. Then all of a sudden, smack! Mr. Scary clapped his loud hands together. And that noise scared the daylights out of me, I tell you. I jumped straight up in my seat and my arms flinged out very crazy. Then my hand knocked into my dictionary and oh no, oh no, that heavy book went over the edge of my desk and it landed on my sore toe. Ow! I shouted real loud. Ow, 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 ow. I reached for my foot and I started to cry. Mr. Scary came running back to me. Then he quick sent Herbert to the school nurse to get some ice. And hooray for Herbert because he brought that woman back with him. Her name is Mrs. Weller. I know her from previous accidents. Mrs. Weller gave me some tissues and she put an ice bag on my piggy toe. It felt heavy and soggy on that sore guy. I pulled my foot away, but she put it right back again. Please, Junie B, said Mrs. Weller, if you just keep this ice on your toe, it will start to feel better, I promise. I shook my head real fast. No, it won't, Mrs. Weller. I said, I know it won't because Mother already put ice on that same toe yesterday, but today it still hurt. And that's how come I had to wear sandals to school. Oh, dear, she said. You mean this poor toe was already injured before you came to school today? I did a sniffle. Yes, I said. It was injured a real lot, Mrs. Weller. On account of yesterday, I kicked a cow and that thing was solid as a rock, I tell you. Mrs. Weller's face went funny. You, you kicked a cow? She said real soft. Yes, I said, and the cow was full of water and a cow full of water doesn't even budge. After that, Mrs. Weller got very speechless and she didn't ask any more questions. She just kept holding the ice bag on my foot. Plus also she mumbled to herself. Room one stretched their necks to see my foot. Then Shirley stood up and she said that she knows just how I feel because one time she accidentally kicked a brick and that did not feel good either. And then Roger said he hurt his toe before too because last year he accidentally kicked a refrigerator repair truck. Plus a boy named Sheldon said that last summer he accidentally kicked a giant tree stump on account of his cousin told him it was made out of rubber. Only it wasn't, said Sheldon, very upset. It was made out of tree. And so all of my toes got their heads bashed in. After that, Sheldon put his foot up on his desk and he started taking off his shoe to show us. Mr. Scary held up his hand. No, Sheldon, please. That's really not necessary, he said. But Sheldon quick yanked off his shoe and sock and he raised his piggies way up high in the air. See everybody? See the baby one? The baby one still has a little red knob on the side of it, he said. See? Just then, Sheldon tipped his chair back on two legs so he could raise his foot even higher. Only too bad for him because quick as a blink, his chair legs slided out from underneath him. And boom, he went crashing into the aisle and his forehead got a knob on it, just like his baby toe. Mrs. Weller quick grabbed the ice bag from my foot and she put it on Sheldon's head. She said she needed to come to the off she said he needed to come to the office with her right away. Only wait till you hear this. Sheldon didn't even cry. Instead, he left the ice bag on his head and he put his shoe and sock back on very calm and he walked to the door with Mrs. Weller. All of us clapped and clapped for that brave boy. Sheldon smiled when he heard that. Then he turned around and he did a bow and the ice bag fell off his head. And that is the end of chapter two. See you next time for chapter three.